these are Erraldo Jack, some genies that are very, very famous in the Basque mythology, in the Basque culture. And the giants, these Erraldo Jack, these giants are present in all the Basque community. In some places, they are characters that are ferocious and angry people and that are cannibals and eat humans. But we can also find some giants that are kind and nice and they are not cannibals, of course. So both of them have like a really, really big strength and they do jobs that are related to the primitive or antique culture of our town, of our Basque town. So as to say, they were shepherds, they would be woodcutters, uh, they would use iron to create tools, blacksmiths, and so on. So, here we have the first giant, a very famous one, whose name is Basa Haun. Basa is like wild, forest, woods, and Haun or Jaun is lord. So the lord of the forest, the lord of the woods. Uh, it's a genie that lives in the forest, in the caves. It's very big, as big as a tree. His form is human and he's full of hair. He's the protector of the woods, the nature, the shepherds and the cattle. Uh, he screams or he shouts, he cries out whenever a tempest is coming so that the shepherds know when to go home, when to protect their cattle. Sometimes he's represented as a terrific thing and sometimes he's represented as the first farmer, blacksmith, mill owner. In fact, there was a legend, there was a story which Martin Chiqui or Martinico was a little boy who uh, tried to make the most of, of Basajaun's wide and wise knowledge. So long time ago, Martin Chiqui one day decided to uh, set a challenge and on the ground of Basajaun's cave, there were a lot of seeds, a lot of wheat seeds. So Martin Chiqui said, if you can jump over the wheat seeds without touching any of them, uh, you win the game. So the giant jumped, it was not a big deal for him. And then when Martin Chiqui jumped, he fell and he touched or he uh, couldn't jump over the uh, wheat seeds. So Basahaun started laughing, haha, I've won, you lost, blah, blah, blah. And Martin Chiqui said goodbye, went away from, from there because he had these wheat seeds in his shoes. When Basahaun realized that uh, Martin Chiqui had stolen these wheat seeds and he took an axe, threw the axe at Martin Chiqui, but Martin Chiqui could uh, go away and then uh, with these seeds the Basque people could saw, could collect and could use these seeds to, to make bread and to eat. Another day, Martin Chiqui went to visit Basajaun too and they were speaking about a saw. Basajaun said that he had made the best saw and then Martin Chiqui said that that was a lie, that it couldn't be possible because he had made a saw that was far better than Basajaun's, which was a lie. Then Basajaun asked, did you do your saw with the teeth like a chestnut's leaf teeth that are very sharp? And he said, no, no, far better. Martin Chiqui went to his house and copied the saw as Basajaun had already done. So when Basahaun came to Martin Chiqui's house, realized that he had been copied and he had been deceived and there was no saw, but he had taken information from his own invention. So he was, Basahaun was very angry and he decided to bend the teeth of the saw of Martin Chiqui uh, in order to make it useless. 
But instead of making it useless, <laughs> the truth was that he invented a new kind of saw with these bent teeth that was very, very famous worldwide. And then there is also Basa Jaunen y Bilbidea in Busturia. It is a project that links or that embraces mythology with art and nature. And in this place, in, in these woods close to Busturia, there are many like sculptures made of natural elements, like this Basajaun that is made of woods, made of sticks. There are some tours that you can book in case you want to visit this place.